Note the National Transportation Safety Board's press conference will be available in the player above as soon as it begins. The chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board is scheduled to provide an update on Thursday's crash. When a Chicago Transit Authority train collided with a piece of snow plowing equipment on the tracks, injuring as many as 38 people, the federal agency is continuing its investigation to determine what caused the crash. The crash occurred at 7519N. Paulina, between Evanston and Chicago's Rogers Park neighborhood, according to the Chicago Fire Department. CFD announced at press conference later Thursday that a yellow line train crashed into CTA snowplow train at the railroad yard, describing the incident as train versus train. The statement continued as follows Yellow and purple line services have been temporarily suspended. Yellow line riders should use the 97 Skokie bus route as an alternative. Purple Line riders can use the 205 Chicago Golf Bus Route or another adjacent bus route. Following accident, many streets in the area were closed and power was cut off to red, purple and yellow lines. Service remains suspended on the yellow line. According to the CTA, at Thursday's press conference, CFD said at least 38 people were evaluated by medical personnel after the crash. 23 of them were transferred to hospitals in the region. CFD said no life-threatening injuries were reported. CFD said during the update that four of those injured were children. Additionally, tweet from the Evanston Police Department stated that a person required private rescue from the Evanston Fire Department. The NTSB is expected to issue an update on Friday to release more details about the investigation. CTA did not provide further updates on what led to the collision. Radio traffic sheds light on CTA yellow line crash. One of worst crashes in agency history NBC5 obtained audio of the CTA traffic control tower trying to contact a CTA train operator moments before the derailment. The striking thing about this audio is its timing, NBC5 investigates said. More than an hour before crash, we hear a warning that a maintenance vehicle will be on tracks in area where crash occurred. Then, in moments before the impact, sound becomes even more frantic. The next transmission from the control tower was around 10.29. Just minutes before the crash, the CTA control tower repeatedly said, Stop your train, please. It is unclear whether train control tower referenced was train involved in accident and derailment. A few minutes later, control tower confirmed that a collision had occurred between the train and snow flatbed train. They made contact with some equipment in Chicago, which caused injuries on train at that time. The CTA control tower operator said just after derailment, today. It looks like we're facing a worst-case scenario where either technology or human error occurs. Simultaneously, DePaul University transportation expert Joseph